Hello folks, welcome to my makeshift workshop until my workshop is complete. Today I have a Trident Maple for you. I acquired this Trident Maple last spring and the tree's been grown in the ground for several years to develop this large caliper of trunk and by letting it grow freely and hacking it back several different times the tree's been able to develop this great taper that it has. Um, you can see on the tree where the initial cut was to create taper, which is here, and then by letting the top grow freely, the wound has healed over. Uh, we have another one here as well, where there was a large cut made, and this branch here that was grown was used to heal this wound over. Now, when I saw this tree, I saw great potential in the tree. Um, the majority of the branches that are on the tree currently, I don't believe fit the design. Although they're in decent positions, with the exception of this one, which was sacrificial to heal over a wound here, they don't have a lot of character. They have good size, at least this one does, but as you can see, this one here is a lot larger than what this one is, and that's not going to work. Um, this branch, although it's in a decent position, doesn't really have a lot of movement or character, so we're going to be removing these branches. Up here, you can see where a sacrificial leader was grown to help heal this wound and maybe even the wound in the rear and it was cut off and what had happened was the tree died back to a node where this branch here grew and didn't heal over properly either so we're going to be doing some work here as well and basically doing an initial styling on this tree this tree is going to look completely different after we get finished with it today I let these branches grow this year number one give as much energy to the roots as possible for storage for energy next year. And number two, I was contemplating at the time doing some thread grafting to put the branches back in place where I wanted them. After some consideration, I feel that it's better to go ahead and remove all the branches, let the tree bud back in hopefully the proper positions, and then if not, what we get growth on next year we'll use to thread graft. So I'm going to do a uh, 360 of the tree, a slow 360 so you can see all the angles again. And then we're going to discuss <clears throat> a planting angle because I will be taking it out of this wooden box. It's been in this wooden box now for two years, so I'm sure it has quite a mass of roots in there. And I'm actually going to leave that mass of roots in there. And the reason I'm going to do that is to promote rapid growth next spring of the new buds that come out. Number one, it will help in healing the wounds that we're going to create, um, as well as get some proprietary branches back in here. Um, and we'll cover that next spring once that takes place. Now I also have some issues with the root base, the nabari. Uh, a couple of these roots here are fairly large as you can see. They're about two fingers thick and they're kind of short and stubby. What I'm going to attempt to do here is, uh, I've marked it out white, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to cut a V groove in these roots. Um, and then once they heal over, it'll look like two separate roots instead of one large massive root. This root here was cut off bluntly, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it down to create some taper. I do have a root that's growing out here, so I'm going to have to stay above that, um, that small feeder root here. But that feeder root is also going to help aiding and healing this over. Now, planting angle on this tree, obviously it was stuck in here, so that you could get it in a pot, smaller containment device and have some sort of root development. <clears throat> what I see and what I'm going to attempt to do in repotting this tree into a larger growing container is I'm going to change the angle just slightly. I think somewhere around in there is going to be a little bit better planting angle. It's going to make this root deeper, number one, and then it will be a little bit better plane across the nabari. Not only that, but the top that I've created, this branch here was growing out this direction. And through wiring and guy wiring, like what I have on the back of the tree, which I'll show you in a moment as well, I was able to bend this main branch around. I'm going to utilize this branch that I've let grow wild as the new apex. So I'm going to be removing this and utilizing this as the new apex. And what I meant by guy wiring was basically I was just seeing how much I could bend a thick branch on this species of tree, and it actually will move quite a lot. 
Basically what I did is I took a little piece of aquarium airline tubing and wrapped it around the branch and used some wire in a tourniquet. And what I did was I gradually tightened this down, which in turn you can actually see the branch moving down as we speak. This branch is going to be removed as well because it's just very straight and it has no character and it was cut off just basically a sacrificial branch once again to maybe help in promoting healing here as well as maybe healing up here. But that's a method that you can use to, to slowly bend a larger branch into a position without having a lot of wire marking or wire cutting into the branch if you don't get the wire off soon enough. So, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Like I said, this is going to be the new potential front of the tree, somewhere right in that nature. Now you can see I have a couple of wounds here as well that have not yet healed. And doing what I'm doing here is not going to really make much of a difference down here, I don't believe. I was able to close these wounds up almost a half an inch all the way around these wounds in one growing season by scoring the area around the wound and applying cut paste. And then once the, the callusing pushed through the cut paste, I re-scored it again and then reapplied cut paste. And it will actually, every time you re-wound it, it will close that wound more, a little bit more and more and more. So I'm hoping in the next year to two that both of these wounds will be healed completely. At the same time, I'm going to be trying to do the same thing with these branches up here as well. So let's get started and uh, see what we come up with. <laughs> 